guess what? My mom didn't turn her back. This mom, show me how you're thing. This, that's why she's putting in ingredients and anything she's making. That's how she does this thing. Corn tortilla, that's already heated up. You could dip it in there and just take a bite. What Megan's doing. You're watching the Bear Fan Show. Hey guys, Barbara here. I am so excited today. And I know I say that all the time, but I am truly excited because I'm celebrating. What am I celebrating? Five years. Five years since I started doing YouTube. I started on um, October 23rd, 2011, and I've been going like the Energizer Bunny ever since. So, let me tell you what happened. I've been celebrating for the past four days because I have a surprise for you guys. So let me shut up and bring the surprise on. All right, come on. <laughs> This is Marie. Marie is your last name, Savino. Savino. Yeah. I'm saying it right. This is Marie Savino. Please welcome Marie. Marie, say hi. 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 <laughs> Marie's a little bit nervous, but I told her she didn't have to be because you guys are gonna be nice. So Marie is from Australia, and she started off first as a viewer and then a subscriber, and then she said she was a fan. I never called you guys fans because. I let you guys tell me that, all right? <laughs> and so we became friends shortly thereafter. You've been with me about four years, right? That's or maybe right. four and a half years? Four and a half. Yeah. yeah, four and a half years. And she is the reason why Australia stays on the map. When mm -hmm. you look at my top five geographies, um, Marie and Angie. Hi, Angie. Say hi, hi Angie. Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, what part of Australia? Melbourne. Melbourne, okay? Melbourne, Australia. So I'm not even going to say you're watching the Bear Pantry show because this is going to be a totally different show. Of course, we're going to show you a recipe, but usually when I have guests on, it's about the guest. It's not about the recipe. So it's a three ingredient thing that we're going to do. Oh, by the way, you guys have never seen me do an alcoholic recipe here except for the Belizean black fruit cake or maybe and even the white fruit cake, I think. And it's because I don't drink alcohol. No religious reasons why. You know, I, I like being around people who can have a drink or two. I just can't drink because I get mad and I want to fight. So <laughs> <laughs> I get flushed in the cheeks and then I want to fight everybody and I can't fight. That's the worst sport. I'll get beat up. <laughs> so I told Marie, let's have fun with an alcoholic drink because she can show me something. Not that Marie knows everything about <laughs> Not that Marie knows everything about drinking, but it's like, it's simple, right? She, you look up the recipe? Yeah. And what's and, it called? Um, Ocean Breeze. And it just sounded like a healthy alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit's healthy, right? Cranberries. So, why is it healthy, Marie? <laughs> well, it's got cranberries and grapefruit uh -huh. and lots of ice. Uh -huh. And vodka is probably the best alcohol you can drink. It, it, it is? Does, really? Well, it doesn't cause hangovers. Oh, Doesn't, I didn't know that. Or not as much. I mean, this, if you drank the whole bottle, you'd be... No, this is the one that you could put in the freezer and it doesn't turn to ice, right? That's right. Yeah. All right, cool. So let me tell you something about alcohol, alcoholic beverages and me. I like the packaging. I'm always about, I've always been that way. I think I should have been in marketing because I look at the packaging on everything and if it's appealing to me, I'll buy it. And if it's not appealing, I don't buy it. Mm. So I'm not the kind of person that will buy things in a brown paper sack. It just, it doesn't turn me on at all. So, <laughs> so when we go to the store, we're always looking at the blue drinks and stuff. Mm -hmm. And even this, the name of this drink is beautiful. It's um, Ocean Breeze. Ocean Breeze. Yeah, Ocean Breeze. So we're going to make it real quick before everything melts and then we can chit chat some more. So what Marie has here, and Joe, if you'd come in a little bit closer, we have 45 mils of cranberry juice, right? Yes. Straight up cranberry juice, not the mixed uh, one. And then uh, 45 mils of um, grapefruit juice. And we're saying mils because Marie's from Australia. 30 mils of the vodka, some ice, a pretty glass. She's got some sugar here to coat the glass. And we're just going to mix it up. Now the mils for the people here in America, it's about a tablespoon and a half, right? Do you see that? Yeah. It's about a tablespoon and a half. Yes, yeah. yeah. if you don't have a measuring thing. Or for ounces wise, it's um, pretty close to an ounce, One right? One ounce, yeah. Yeah, for the vodka. And then the juice is just a little bit more. So you guys go with us. All right, Marie, grab this stuff. Okay. Like, what do we'll we do first? We'll start with the rim. Uh -huh. I'm just using the grapefruit that we've squeezed. Yeah. Just around the top. And then, then I've got a really shallow mm -hmm. plate of sugar here. And try. I can stop my shakes. <laughs> She's nervous. Why? I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job, Marie. 
That's okay. That's and, and you know what? We, we both look kind of pretty and white. Yeah. We look shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> And you put a lot of ice in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is a drink for one person? Yes. Okay. Yes. So better yeah. pour it in. One person drink. And remember, don't drink and drive. That's right. I don't mind people who drink alcohol around me, but if I see you driving, I'm done. Do we need more ice? I think that's okay. That's for okay? The amount, for the amount of For the amount? Drink. It's okay. a big glass. What so do we put first? The vodka? I'd be putting the vodka first. Okay. Put the vodka. And I just smell vodka for the first time. It smells pretty good. The grapefruit. And then the cranberry. And the cranberry. And we don't have any straws, but otherwise you'd swizzle it with a straw. Just swizzle it with a okay. straw. Can we but just like do it like this? Yeah, just do that. Can you put a stir right in there? No, that's just too Do you have a stir? Get a spoon or something. A spoon or I something? I think that looks good. The it's way stirred you do up, it. right? It's stirred up. I, I look like it. I I look like I knew something about alcohol, right? <laughs> The glass is big enough. How's that? It was meant to be. I could never be a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, a but it's a pretty pink color. It looks gorgeous. Does it smell not? You it smells smell good. It smells good. You smell the grapefruit. Fresh. It, sm it, it smells, smells really, really, really fresh. good. Really yeah, fresh. this looks like something that I would drink. Joe's, Joe's going to have a problem because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want me to start drinking because then I'll just drink all day. <laughs> drink all day. I'm teasing fun. guys. Well, I'm going to take a little sip. Okay, so the vodka doesn't taste like bad like rum, because I've tasted mm. rum before. No. And then the cranberry juice hits you after that. The sugar helps. Yeah. The sugar helps a whole lot around the rim. And then the grapefruit juice is like the last thing I tasted in it. Yeah, but you can taste all the levels of the... Mm -hmm. yeah. You can, you can. It's so tasty. You know, I have to do my thumbnail. Now, Marie, let's talk. What have you been enjoying here? First of all, about California. And then uh, about my little town that I live in. Get well, here. everyone's so friendly. Uh -huh. I mean, extremely friendly from the staff to my beautiful family here. <laughs> um, very pretty malls. Uh -huh. Great food. Uh -huh. oh, of course, what, what, is the best. What have you eaten from the Bear Pantry kitchen? Um, fried jacks this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what the first one. Oh, the black soup. Uh -huh. Black soup. That's the first day. Beautiful. The chimole. Uh -huh. Looking at it, Don and I thought, huh, interesting. <laughs> but then when you get stuck into it, it's awesome. Look, Marie is telling stories. When Marie saw me make it and she saw me put the spice in, so she wasn't nervous at all. Mm. Don was scared. <laughs> no, Don's <laughs> off in the wings. We'll bring him on in a little second. But he was scared because it looked so jet black. <laughs> but they're so open minded. And they're like, we're going to taste it. And they they dove in and that was it. Oh, Megan, I'm so yes. sorry, my cousin Megan, but you have a run for your money now. You have new people that like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next, the first day we did Johnny Cake, right? Johnny Cakes as well, which were wonderful. Uh -huh. Coconut cr cream in them? Yeah, coconut milk. Milk. Uh -huh. Oh, yum. <laughs> yum. And then we did the fried jack this morning, mm -hmm. just with regular eggs and stuff. We're just talking about the bread stuff. I'm making um, Creole bun for them right now. It's, I'm going to bake it right now when we're done with the show because they're going to go to another leg of their trip. They gave me four wonderful days. Today's the last day they're going to be with me. I'm going to miss them dearly. <laughs> Such a sweet, sweet couple. Marie, why did you decide? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. I want to bring Don in to say a quick hello, yeah. and then I'll get into why you guys decided um, to come, okay? Okay. I'm teasing Joe, guys, because he's running both cameras for me today because you guys know that Jada is disabled right now. And so this is Don. This is Marie's husband of 15 years. Yes. Oh, my God, you guys. Don is a brother from another mother for Joe. They're just alike, except that Don is a little bit um, more soft-spoken than Joe is. Marie is my sister from another mister. We were born the same year. We had our first babies the same year, right? Yeah. We hate the same people. We love the, <laughs> <laughs> we love the same people. And so let me go back now. You, you guys know I've had a rough year. I've lost four loved ones this year. I lost one on October the 11th. I'm not sure if you guys at the cooking channel knows this, but at the vlog, you know this. And I lost an uncle, two dear friends, and a mom. And so I've been enduring. I've been enduring. I really have. I, I think I'm... I'm, I, I think I'm grateful that I'm still sane right now. You know what I mean? And so Marie has been with me for four years. And she just woke up one day, one night for me, but one day for her. 
And she said, Barbara, I'm going to come to um, California and I'm going to see you. You know, I'm going to come see you. And I turned over to Joe and I said, Marie says she's going to come see me. And I was excited. Mm -hmm. And she goes, Marie's coming on vacation and then you're going to be on the agenda. She's not coming to see you. And I, <laughs> I wrote her back and I told her what Joe said. And she says, tell Joe he's wrong. I'm coming for you. <laughs> so what made you, what, what inspired you? Because you said you never thought about coming to America. I never wanted to come to America. It's just that I, I really felt a closeness with uh -huh. you. It was almost like you were like sisters real, yeah yeah and uh -huh. um i discussed it a lot i used to always talk to don about the videos i'd watch uh -huh. or the blogs and did you watch any at all no bits. then bits and pieces bits and pieces uh-huh i saw you every day because i, I was in your house huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. poor don <laughs> forever you had computer. to endure me poor don <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and um yeah so we, we I woke up and said to Don, hey, look, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. Because it's such a, a long trip, obviously we're going to see a few of the sites of America, but uh -huh. you were the first, mm -hmm. you were the reason. I feel privileged. Mm -hmm. And they told me that, you know, because you're in your life and you're working and something, you don't have to do anything special. We just want to spend the time with you. And I can't believe that the four days has gone so quickly, right, Don? Yeah. Of and we've been just to like grocery stores. And of course, they're fascinated with, you know, the price difference, just like we do when we go to Belize mm -hmm. and the different items we can get that they can't get over there in Australia and stuff like that. And of course, now we have an open invitation to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. If I can get over my fright of flying, Joe's laughing at me. Joe, you don't get to stand behind the camera and laugh at people. <laughs> <laughs> and so Jada, of course, can't wait to get better so she can go. She's like, bye, mom, we're going. <laughs> and, you know, but I'm, I'm less afraid. Because she told me that there was a straight flight. Yeah, direct, uh, 14 and a half hours. So we don't have to stop all over the world? No, no. Yeah, no, no. yeah. So, and they feed you like dinner and stuff? Yeah, on this flight? yeah. And I mean, you watch movies? It's airplane yeah. food. But, but they yeah. feed you real, it's not peanuts, right? It's no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, because when you go from here to Belize, it's just peanuts. No, or no. Some I'll give you crackers or something. A few meals. Like if you leave uh, night, 10 30 at night, they'll give you a dinner. Like, oh, dinner. okay. Yeah. And she, she stayed awake the whole time. Yeah. Because you left at night, right? We yeah. left um, 10 30 in the morning, oh, in Tuesday the morning. morning. So that's why she didn't sleep. And uh -huh. we arrived at 6 30. 6 30 a.m. Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. they, they left on the 18th and they arrived on the 18th. So we time traveled. <laughs> <laughs> and we were recording this show. Um, the Friday, Friday the 21st, right? Yes. Friday the 21st, and I'm going to put it up Monday. By then, the 23rd would have already passed for my five-year anniversary in YouTube. But I thought it was very fitting. We didn't plan it like this. This is just the date Marie picked, and as she was here, I was like, you know what, Marie? It's my five-year anniversary on October 23rd. If you check back, you know, when I started my site, it'll say May something, but that's when I made the channel. I didn't put up my first video until October 23rd. And then the first seven videos I had to take down because they were in copyright infringement and I, I re-put them up. So officially October the 23rd and she just happened to be here. She just wanted to give me the gift of friendship and love and comfort because she knows what I've endured. And she's all like, if I come, you know, maybe I, I can be some joy to Barbara. And you've been more than joy, not just to me, but to even my friend Leah, who's coming over later. We're having a little party later and Maria and Don are... The, the stars of the party <laughs> and um, the, you guys are fit. she's talking Creole now <laughs> 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 which is it's not far off from Australia from the Australian accent hey, okay? <laughs> you've been talking gibberish huh yeah you're talking oh, yeah. gibberish yes. it's yeah. drop a repeat majority <laughs> three, three lessons yesterday on different different <laughs> the dialects <laughs> and Marie has my, my middle name is Marie so look at another similarity there again, guys. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cool? Done. Um, we have been like talking. You, know, you want to say anything? Um, my dear I'd like friend? to taste that drink. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don's yeah. yeah. such a sweetie. I mean, what a beautiful husband, Marie, to just say, I'm going to take my wife to meet this strange girl that's always in my house on the, on the computer. <laughs> and then he comes and he finds out he had a brother. <laughs> You like it? You like it? It's, it's oh, it's the first time. The first time you guys say stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. I just yeah. She looked it up on the internet. internet. Oh, okay, no. gotcha. Joe's running camera, guys. So, <laughs> anyways, Marie, do you want to say anything in closing? Do Do we want to tell Angie? Angie, when are you coming? You and Maddie, when are you coming? <laughs> you guys would love it, Angie. You would absolutely <laughs> love it. Um, I just want to thank you guys for having us, for showing us 
just showing us a beautiful time. And, and time. I really am going to miss you all. I miss we'll her already. Through. She's not even got it. I miss her already. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, this is not a regular tutorial. This is about celebrating Marie's visit here with Dawn. And um, I'm going to put up a video at the vlog, and I think I'm going to name it Donnie and Marie. <laughs> <laughs> clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> but in the meantime, guys, as always, I thank you guys for watching, for liking, for subscribing, um, liking, hit, hitting the thumbs up is always liking, for commenting. Leave some beautiful comments, okay? Tell Marie what a great job she did. Tell her to come back again. This, to me, you know, when Sherry Shepard came, she was like the biggest person to come to, you know, because she's a celebrity. She doesn't see herself as that. Mm. But this is even, this is as nice as when Mario came. Because oh. I made friendship with Mario through Periscope, and I made friendship with you through YouTube, and it feels so nice to see the person and hug her and, and just spend a lot of time with her. And it, it feels good. It really feels good. Don, thank you for bringing her. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to finish the ending, you're going to say take care. Until I see you again. Take care, guys. Be very good. Are you having fun? Yeah. What do you What do you think when you look at the lens? Are you... I think I'm okay. Okay, okay. go. You're both going. Mm -hmm. You're not both going. You're in trouble. Cool. Yeah. Well, if I say go, that means good. The dog is here. <laughs>